Um, so this, you mentioned the sunlight sensor being replaced, replacing the beacon. Do you want to talk about why this is important, uh, how this is used for those that are doing ag work? Because this is uh, unusual for other drones in, in our space. Yeah, I mean, you're really only utilizing a sunlight sensor for multispectral work, which, like you said, we had over 800 registrants. We've had, it's quite amazing to see the attendees for what I guess I would consider a more of a niche industry, niche product, but it's one that I'm very passionate about. And so getting back into the sunlight sensor, we take the beacon out of the drone of a Mavic 3 Enterprise or a Mavic 3 Thermal, which is most commonly used. But here, what we have is off the back end of the drone, you can kind of see that it's white there, but it's almost see-through. What it's, and there's a sensor be behind that or below that that's an ambient light sensor. So while you're flying, if the sunlight changes, whether it's from day to day and you're trying to go out and fly that same field every day and every week and trying to do some trend analysis, or even during the flight, if you had a large amount of differentiation on cloud cover, uh, you're going to be, the camera is going to automatically adjust that so that your NDVI values aren't all askew depending on what the ambient light was above. So if you're looking for more accurate data with multispectral, you really need to have something reading what the ambient outdoor light is. So let's imagine that we're talking to this audience that is here right now of folks that have some some understanding of, of drone data capture, but maybe not multispectral data capture, or they, they're used to taking pictures with drones, but they've never really done photogrammetry and things like that. My question is, uh, pertaining to the sunlight sensor, is this part of the EXIF data that's stored onto each image, or is this just the drone knows what to do to adjust the images, but you would never actually see the data that's presented by the sunlight sensor? Um, does, does that question make sense? Yes, it does, and the data is logged. So if you need to do any sort of adjustments that you can. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and another thing to add on there, just because sunlight sensor, we're talking so much about accuracy. Um, the common question, reflectance panels. Uh, we can utilize reflectance panels for a bit higher level of accuracy. Essentially what that is, is it's a target on the ground at a specific band of light, and you can calibrate your multispectral camera for it. Now, DJI, we're not going to manufacture them, unfortunately, but if you have a calibration panel or make one, you can implement there too. So sunlight sensor and reflective calibration panel, you're going to have some really accurate results. Awesome. Uh, I guess if anyone has questions about those reflectance panels, because I don't know anything about them, maybe Kyle has some suggestions of where you could get them, or if anyone does have suggestions, we might learn something together. But thanks for sharing that, Kyle. 